Maybe Landon has been living properly and things are going to go his way for a minute. It is that time. I'm sick of staring at this truck. So we're going to get it out of here. Landon is currently inside wrenching on things. We're going to put the next couple of days in on this truck and see if we can't make it run, drive, and at least move under its own power out of my shop. So here we go. All right, let me give you a little update on what we got going. Fuel tank is in it from last time, if you remember. The bed is setting in the shop. We're gonna, the bed's gonna get a little interesting because I'm gonna have to deal with the fuel coming up out of it. I don't know how that's gonna work yet. We'll deal with it. We gotta run fuel lines and tranny lines, all the shifters. That's what Landon's currently doing is putting the new doghouse in it so we can get the four wheel drive shifter in it and then we'll deal with the column and the key switch. With any luck, by tomorrow night, she's running. What are you doing, Ben? Well, I was gonna take the steering wheel off. I don't know why. One left. This is entertaining. It was way entertaining. I could do a dance for you or something. Yep. Oh, there you go. That's about all I got. Get groovy with it. I heard you're the dancer. I am not, no. You're not a dancer? Nope. Oh. My appendix bursts every time after. <laughs> <laughs> Was that what happened last time? Mm -hmm. Really? Dang. Need an extension. I'm gonna have to get a steering wheel puller. We did something. Okay, now we just gotta pull the clip off of this, turn signal switch, and then hit the button. And pull the key out. So, that easy. Hundred could do it. I'm good. I'll support you. You'll support you. me? Thank you. Yep. Hey, I appreciate that support. You're welcome. Just like I'm going to be doing from your passenger seat because I don't want to walk, which will be in the square body. <laughs> See that? Yeah, now that Paul's not in here. I don't think he has the tool for this. There's a tool that threads on here, pushes it down. Makes it so much easier. Because <sighs> without it, it sucks. Maybe he does that one. I do. It's just easier with it. <laughs> one finally? Yeah. Isn't there a fellow screwdriver in here? No. You want me to grab it? Yeah. You're on that side. Do it. She coming apart? Yeah. Coming apart. Oh yeah. We'll get everything put in it. She was looking out the driver's That easy. Okay, we'll put the new one in it. Parts right there. We'll get back to you. I don't know where the key is. Well, this is easy. Key's in there now. Now let's put it all back together. Hey, that's easy. And it turns. This should be the the final run. Gonna. This is the horn button wires. They're kind of hard to put on. Now break them off. So you tighten these down until they smoke. And never back them off. That's not going anywhere. And the key works. Done. Diego. All right, so Land came through. He found the part that we needed finally. So we'll get this shifter put in it and uh, some fuel lines on tomorrow. <laughs> but for today, we're done. Ben's out of here. He's heading home. Heading home. Next time you see Ben, it'll be Moab. So. We're, uh, we're pretty much done for the day, so we're cashing her in today. All right, got a job to do. I don't want anyone dying right out here, so we're gonna try this. See what happens. Oh, that was cold. Thought it would be more, more spectacular than that. <laughs> someone's, gonna, someone's gonna take it from that one. It won't, it won't come off. About all we could get. Bring on summer, I'm tired of snow. All right, we've got the back pretty much figured out. We've got some parts coming from the hosers, from, well, from Elevated. Those guys are sending down the fittings I need to hook into that. So we'll lift it up and pull fuel lines right now and hook the shifter up for the transmission. I think they come down this side over here. 
So maybe we just gut all this old fuel system out of here, get it out of our life. Landon started to take to it there, out. Right? I think we can take all of that plunder out and then we'll just start fishing new fuel lines and we'll button them to the frame and put them in. Yeah, that wasn't very special, was it? Trying to make this factory shifter stuff work in here and I think it's kind of looking like it's possible. I don't want to hold your breath or anything, but maybe Landon has been living properly and things are going to go his way for a minute. Okay, that's in. You got any idea what I'm doing, Hunter? Yeah. You do? Yeah. See that, Hunter? He got himself a pocket knife. He knows what's <laughs> going on now. <laughs> so I got a bolt. Oh no. Where did I lose the little plastic doodad? Did you drop it? Yep. I lost it once and already put it back in. Wow. Found it. You can quit looking for it. Woo! <laughs> that piece right there is hard to come by. Without it, it's terrible. So this has to bolt up to the frame right here. That's going to be the hardest part of this whole gig. Once I get that done, we'll get this shifter put in. What are you doing, Sean? Struggling. Trying to get one bolt out that apparently is holding that fuel line in. And then we start hacking up by the firewall somewhere. Cause I don't know what's going on. Around here, we don't ride the struggle bus. It's a train. We got excited, thought we could cut these hoses out. This can be 10 more minutes waiting on this ratchet. We're pretty close to having a shifter. Ooh, well, it's a good thought. Maybe, oh, that fell out. Maybe get, I don't know what we've got going on here. You're okay, then. We're halfway. Just on everything. There you go. Ish. Oh, yeah. Oh, my. Too bad a bag. Got that out of our life. There's one. One down. It's going to be way cleaner with that other stuff in there. there way go. more better. Oh. If that's even a word, way more better. That's what it's going to be. Let's see, it goes like that. I don't know if fishing it. Period is. Oh, it's possible. That one ain't gonna do it. It's no go for launch right there. That one ain't working. Whoever put this motor in put it right against the firewall. Those fittings are over. They're good fit. That's so you, good. I'm gonna have to cut that. Yeah, they're push locks. Is it? So yeah, you gotta cut the hose. Yeah, it won't come off. Who would have thought that the dipstick was gonna be the hard part? Let's uh, just Take cut some. her in half. Yeah. Let me get these. Get a grinder. We'll just cut that in the middle. that be a lesson to you. <laughs> we got her. wonder if that O2 still works. It's a little bent. Probably going to need an O2 sensor. All right. I think we've got the shifter dialed. I'm going to Hunter. He's up here in the truck. I'm going to climb under here. All right, Hunter, shift us through the gears. Let's see it work. Okay. So that's park. All right. Reverse. Neutral. Drive. Three, two, one. All right, that's technically all the gears we need, so it's handled. All right, I jumped on the old uh, Jegs. Actually, Speedway is where I got these. These are a factory Chevy fuel injector on one side with a JIC on the other side. Makes plumbing fuel effortless right there. Click them on and they're done. Oh, I forgot. We got it. There's a lot we have to deal with under here still. I got throttle cable that we got to make go clear over. Oh no, it's drive by wire. We got to put a pedal so in it. Yeah, we have the pedal. It's fairly easy though. I remember now. I'm back. I lost track thought there for a minute. <laughs> oh yeah, she's loose. Wonder why she was road wild, man. But that'd have been a surprise if that came off. I think we're ready to run fuel lines. 
to try to get it tied down along this frame rail. So. We might be able to get that. Is that there? Well, it's close-ish. We'll see. Oh, man. That's a tough bend right there. I'll try not to fall on my face. If you make sure you keep those separate so we know which one is pressure, which one's return. Okay. All right, there's that. Yeah, we'll uh, zip that to the frame all the way up through there. Run one more, and then we gotta build these and still take the tank apart, solder them on, and technically we run power to that, and this thing makes noise. And then we'll just get a 5 16th drill bit. We'll drill a hole and bolt that down. Wonder how accessible that's gonna be with the bed on. If you ever have to pull this tank out. Probably easier to pull a bed than it is to pull a tank though, I don't know. <laughs> Perfect. Like it? Yeah. So we just gotta pull that apart and build it. All right, I guess we gotta cut those off right there and right there. And then we can pull them out of the way. And All right, so we're just gonna cut the ends off of these and see if we can't weld to them. Yeah, we'll get it on there. All right, we're about to try some. Land, I'm gonna need you to go get a, this rag and get it wet so we can cool this stuff down. Try to keep an eye out for stuff we may melt or problems we may cause here. I talked to Scott with uh, elevated hose and supply. And we couldn't find the fitting that we needed exactly. And he's like, hey, just take and drill some caps out and weld them on there. So that's what we're currently doing. I think it's gonna work. We're gonna try it. There. There's something cool. cool. <laughs> Seems that we have a leak there. That was. Sinji. <laughs> Minor inconvenience. Still got still a leak. Still, is the O ring in there, junk? I don't know if there is, but there's an O ring in there. We're about to find out. Well, it's just a taper fit. Maybe that's not even the right one for it. Let me go see if I got another one. So, we don't have the ideal setup going on here. I don't know what I got. But, I mean, we make fire on that end, but it makes fire here still, too. I think we're going to be just fine. <laughs> if, you blow up, blow up. if we die, we die. What's that thing? <laughs> Came in handy. See, your rag's already working, man. It looks like it's gonna work pretty good actually. Got it? Yeah. Yeah. Wrap it around the top part, maybe not right around those, but around the. See if you can cool the lines off. She's warm. All right, these things are on. I think we're good to go. Everything looks to be proper, so we'll put it back in the truck and hook some lines to it. Land? Hmm. This truck works, it's gonna be a Christmas miracle. I've said that before though, this truck has worked before and then you've killed it. So just remember that you need this truck. Driver like a grandma would. Maybe not your grandma, but some <laughs> grandma. One of those is the gauge and one of those is the <laughs> pump. That's a ground, that's gonna go on the frame right there. So I think the smart thing to do here is going to be build these lines, hook them on, put a little gas in it, and put the power probe to it and fire it up and see if we can make pressure on it. That hooked him to the wrong one there. 
Now, if these don't leak, we're good, right? Yeah, now we just basically got to bolt it to the frame the whole way up. Pour a little fuel in it and see. Let him get a five and go get some gas out of there. We'll see if this thing makes fuel pressure. It's going to. Regular gas. Let's pour it in there. I fill it up halfway because I don't know how much yeah, I need it. Halfway is plenty. We just need enough to see pressure go up and back and not have stuff leaking everywhere. It's a pretty big deal. Gas going in your truck, it may run. We ain't gonna fire it until we get tranny cooler on it, but if we can put power to it and see that this doesn't leak, we're one step closer. Okay. There. All right, I need you to go up front, Landon. And watch for leaks right there. We'll watch back here and power it up. It's returning. I don't see it here any leaks. I think it shot it through the injectors. You heard fuel? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I got well, one little. We got, we got a leak up here. That's what I was wondering. Just barely found it. It's this little thing over here. Is it uh, leaking at the hose? No, it's not leaking at the hose, but it's leaking out of that. I don't know what that's supposed to do. Cool. We're good. Well, if those aren't leaking, we got a leak in the back to deal with, and then I think we're good to go. You got anything, Land? Fixed. Cured. Yep. Cured. We're good. Well, you got fuel. <clears throat> now we got to get oil. Trans line. A few wiring. We got to wire it and run that all up through it. But yeah, technically, it would fire right now. Probably gonna have to take your winch off. It won't come out this side. Oh, okay, oh. hold on. It kind of fits out. Got it. Should All right, take it somewhere. Any tighter it would, though. Is that a trans cooler? There's a trans cooler in here. Why would that be in here? It's gotta be oil cooler or something. I don't know why that's in there. We're taking that out. 7 16th land, pull that. We'll put this in right over here. Yeah, take that whole cooler out. We'll get this thing as much air as it can get. Mount the trans cooler. Mounted. I think we can go up now, plumb oh, tranny cooler lines on and run them back to the front. Oh yeah, 22s will be about right. I should bring you right over and up the frame, across the top of that. So we'll... <laughs> Got him. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Son of a god. I think we'll hook it on and thread it through. Alright. Go for it right there. Straight Probably up. Straight up right there because the trans cooler is right here. Mm, I don't know. Just pull it all over there. I don't know if we want it straight down though. It's always bleeding off. Well, that way. I think we come way. up through right here. Let's let it down. That should do it, shouldn't it? Let's grab some black tape. We may not make it run today, but we're dang close. Well, <laughs> we're gonna go reverse on this, then poke it down through there, up through here. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see where it gets us. Oh, look at that, tranny cooler lines are plugged in. And then we just gotta mount everything up nice and tight. I don't know why that won't just work though. For me doing it, it looks pretty good, really. I mean, Ben hasn't even been here keeping me on the straight and narrow. That's what we got Sean for now. Oh yeah, that's what. Straight and narrow is getting wider and curvy. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> well, did it just go in? How about that? Are you kidding me? Well, sort of. Well, that's closer than it's I ever mean, been. That's all but in. How easy was that? It's close. It does need a bend to kick it over. Which, Which you you say you bend it however you like it. Nice and easy. I don't want to kink it. It's gone. Some. Once we get it in there, it may not even need a bolt. <laughs> it's 
it's gonna be wedged so tight. It's gotta be right there. Let's let it down and see if we can persuade it with a hammer. I think that thing is in. Trans Charge dipstick out. dealt with. Let me see the dipstick part. Let's see if it actually goes in it. There's no oil in it. Cool, we got that. Little sure ATF in her. We'll see if it leaks anywhere from this stuff. Get a light. Yep, that's where it's leaking. It's leaking around. Oh, good. I don't know what that. That's broke. That's awesome. Grab the pan, Lander. That was a quick oil change for you. We're so good at our jobs. <laughs> uh, all right, so we got a bunch more done on Landon's truck. He's actually here working on it. He's gonna get the grill all put back together, the stuff in it. We didn't make it run because of the transmission parts, so we ordered them. They're not gonna be here in time. Next time we work on this, we'll take it for a test drive. It's gonna run, so thanks for watching.